alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I am going to talk about friendship and how to choose a friend and what's the blessing of being a good friend. Uh, one time a group of uh, uh, porcupine, they want uh, in a cold night, they want to sit down near each other to become warm. And every time they sit down nearby each other, they, uh, t the needles of the, uh, everyone hurt the other person who's, uh, the other porcupine who's nearby them. And they try going uh, out from the uh, line and they came back again and they harm each other. And they can't do it again and again, three times or four times. And in the end, they return back and they sit down nearby each other and without harming each other. And they felt so warm, and they felt so happy, and uh, they got this night uh, good. Uh, the point about this story is, uh, like you are, you need a friend to, to, to warm you, to help you, to listen to you, but in the same times, you need to keep a distance between you and a friend. And uh, the, 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 one, the point I want you to, to know today is f choosing a friend, you must look at this friend three things, three points you must look at him, then you know this is a good friend. The first one is always this friend, he, he, he likes you to be successful. Whenever you have A in your test, he feels so happy. Whenever you have a good husband, if you are a girl, he w will love it uh, for you. The second point and a good friend is always this friend help you to reach uh, to your goal uh, and to make Allah happy from you. You know, he teach you, he remind you with Salat al-Fajr, he remind you to read Quran, he remind you to fast, he always keeping you uh, uh, nearby Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third one, the third point in good friend is, he always want you to be good to your family, either your parent or your children or your spouse. Always he try to solve your problem, not create a problem to you. And this way you know that he is good friend. Now, if you have this friend, this description in this friend, you know you're going to have a lot of benefit of this friend. Yes. And I'm going to uh, tell you. The first one is, you know, if you sit down with a good friend, a righteous friend, the barakah and the blessing of sitting down with him, it's going to be, uh, subhanAllah, uh, uh, blessed. And uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna lillahi malaika yatufuna uh, fi al-turuq yaltamisuna ahl al-dhikr. Because you are sitting down with him and you're going to say a hadith or an ayah, then the angels going to sit down around you while you are sitting down with your friend. Uh, so from here to the sky and they ask Allah for forgiveness for you and Allah will forgive you and give, forgive your friends and even the other friends that they sitting down with you without uh, yani they don't uh, coming for listening to the uh, dhikr or the remembering of Allah they're gonna get a blessing also in the sitting now the second one is تقتدي بهم. You know, you follow the rules, uh, the footstep of your friend. A Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, المرء على دين خليله فلينظر أحدكم إلى من يخالل. You know, a man on a path of his friend and every one of us must look of who who is his friend is and then uh, choose to go with him in the same path. And uh, the third one is, your friend is the one who gonna show you your mistakes, your ayub. Uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, المرؤ على ديني المرؤ مرآت أخيه أو المرؤ على ديني خليله مرآة you know, uh, 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 believer is a um, uh, believer is a mirror 
for your for his friend if he see uh, if, you, if, uh, if a girl see you wearing a uh, tight clothes she is and she's if your friend she gonna say oh this is so tight I don't want you to wear tight clothes uh, I think this is not nice for you uh, it's gonna harm you it's gonna make people uh, you know see you in a not in a, in a, in a, in a higher level of uh, of uh, respect uh, and and like uh, these simple things the fourth things uh, you gonna know your mistakes in your worshiping because when you see uh, him uh, praying so much, reading Quran so much, uh, going and helping in, in the masjid, going and uh, visiting sick people, you will gonna see that you are not doing these things, you're wasting your time watching TV and and playing games and things like this, then you, uh, he will, uh, you know, without knowing, he will advising you to go and do the good things. Uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَثَلُ الْمُؤْمِنِ وَمَثْمِثْلِ النخلة ما أخذت ما أخذت منها من شيء إلا نفعك. You know, a, a believer, it's like a palm tree. Everything in it, it's gonna be useful. The tongue, the leaves of palm tree, the date, even the seeds of the palm tree is a food for the animal. Subhanallah. Everything is a, a beneficial. The sixth one is جليسك الصالح يحفظك في حضراتك وفي مغيبك. You know, the good Muslims, the good friend, he will protect you when you are sitting down nearby him. Him or you when you are not uh, and he will never let anyone talk about you behind your back and you will know that he is a good friend when he will not uh, and when he will not talking about you or when he will not listen about you anyone talking about you bad or uh, yani, um, uh, making ghibah about you uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Al-mu'minu ma in ma shaytahu naf'aka wa in shawartahu naf'aka wa fi kulli shay'in min amrihi manfa'a A believer is if you uh, uh, if you walk with him he will uh, benefit you if you advise if you ask him for advice you for advice he will uh, benefit you even in everything that he will do with you he will benefit you now the uh, seven uh, seven uh, point is mujalasa al-salihin tudkhiluka fi fi khassiyatihim allah allah you know sitting down with a good righteous people and a good friend will put you uh, from the people who fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said al akhilla yawma idhin ba'dhum li ba'dhin adu illa al muttaqin a friend will be a uh, enemy toward each other except the uh, good friend and righteous friend because they will do they do the, the friendship built on the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the uh, eighth one is is uh, just to see your friend sometimes it could protect you from doing a lot of harm you know uh, he will remind you that if you sing your, your friend he will remind you to stop saying bad words he will remind you uh, he sitting down with you you feel uh, like you would not gonna watch this movie because he's sitting down near by you and then you feel that he's so respected that he would not see the watch this movie uh, and and uh, the uh, nine things is uh, the the good friend will make a lot of da'wah for you and uh, uh, you know he said if he had a good you guy have a good friend he will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you and bless your family and give your daughters good husbands uh, and give your sons good wives subhanallah and there is an angel sitting down saying oh God and get to him too and to him too you know if he if you ask for your friend uh, health Allah will say to you too if you ask Ask for your friend a good husband. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to you, for that reason, never ask a dua for yourself. Ask for your friend and Allah will uh, give you, inshallah, uh, this. Uh, the 11 point, uh, the, uh, the good friend will uh, put you under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the hadith al-Qudsi, seven type of a group of people, Allah will put them under his shade. One of them, 
is uh, two people who love Allah uh, to become a friend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and they stopped their friendship because they become one of them uh, went to the stray uh, doesn't uh, follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anymore uh, and you need to remember that if you love your friend for the sake of Allah, you will be under, uh, you will gonna be under, uh, uh, even his visit will be, and you are gonna be under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you will be entering heaven subhanAllah, just sitting him, sitting with him, and visiting with him. Uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the had hadith al-Qudsi, wajabat mahabbati lil mutabadilina fi wal mutahab you visit him, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you and you will be under his love, and the, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you love your friend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you visit him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Allah love you and he will make you enter his heaven. I will end up with two uh, remarks. One is a word for uh, Malik ibn Dinar said, إِنَّكَ إِن تَنْقُلِ الْأَحْجَارَ مَعَ الْأَبْرَارِ خَيْرُ لَكَ مِنْ أَنْ if you hold a rock and you work a hard shipment with a good righteous people better for you than sitting in a fancy restaurant and eating all the food that you will wish for and 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 uh, and the second point I will end up with telling you is uh, a man a wise man his name is Athman ibn Hakim said ishab man huwa fawquka fi al-deen wa dunaka fi dunya Find a friend who is higher than you and, and righteous than you toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is higher than you in religion and lower than you in life and in, in, in sustenance. Uh, please guys, find you a friend because either your friend will take you to heaven and with him you will sit down and enjoy heaven or a bad friend could take you to hellfire. I will advise me and you for this new year to look for a, f a good friend and uh, to get a good friend inshallah to make me and you go inshallah with the, our friend to the heaven.